and all that. I just tried it to um, put it aside and put it in, honey. Give you a hand. Mm. Oh, yeah. I usually don't cook in them, um, you know, and do video at the same time, but I do it all behind the scenes. I've been cooking for all my life, really, cook myself. And my mum, my mum has, um, has taught me a bit of things over the years. And the only things I really know how to cook is, um, all up in stew, but if you don't know what it is, it's it's just um, a all up is a it's a mouldy feed where we had um, pork pains or brisket, pork sausages. Uh, whatever we can throw in as our meat and adding our greens and cabbage, silver beet, puha and watercress and our favourite um, favourite filling what we use is um, something we call a dayboy which it's made out of day we make them into big balls or slice them into little squares so it, all, it feeds all of us and it's what you call um, a mouldy ball up and with the stews we add our dayboys to it as well and dayboys really really helps when you've got a big family we use a lot of us to feed Use um, use day boys just to fill everyone's stomach up. Anyway, chopping three onions, and I've got the best knife. This is like a butter knife, but it's got razor blades and it's pretty good. I could probably do these three onions in less than a minute. Just chopping the ball up and straight into the pot for our stew. Don't be long. in a minute with this stuff it's pretty good and I gotta peel up some potatoes to go with our chicken stew this ain't the greatest knife for it but I use a big butcher I'll show you Here. So what I'm going to do is like peel all this off. If they are washed potatoes, I'll probably just cut it all off and eat the skin off because they're already washed and ready for the pot. But it's got a bit of dirt on him. You know, I have no choice but to peel it all off and, and clean them up. So the bigger potatoes, the less I have to peel. If you have small potatoes, the more you have to peel. How much have potatoes you want to peel? Yes, just a 
fall. So if I put that in, in a, in a, a nice, a nice um, big butcher like this is good for my big hands. Peeling potatoes, you know, you've got to do it for the stews and whatever you're cooking. It's part of a good meal. You watch know they had a peel of potato, eh? They find the right knife for you. Everyone doesn't have big hands, so you find the one that you're comfortable with. Say four, three to go. We're making progress on the potato. If you're mouldy, I'll do it and mouldy. If you're back here, whatever, if you're white, one, two, three, potato. <laughs> yeah. So, Toru, number five, which is number four. You peel that like you own it. Don't need the potato, take over you. You own the potato. It's like shaving your head. You're giving the potato a haircut, trimming it off. For potato safer, tahi rua tolipa. Rima is number five, and that should be enough. For our stew. So we've got five potatoes ready to be cut into good little sizes. So the family. It's a good, decent meal. more knife because I'm only cutting them up. Leave you guys over here. So five potatoes ready to be cut. Try, try. One potato ready. So, really cut them into little pieces and look at how, how many how, how many family members we've got here. So, I cut them into as small as possible because you want to balance it up of how many. How many, how many family members are here? So, small pieces as possible, and also it cooks faster. So, 
So I'm on the TD3 at the moment, which is Toru. If you're Māori, you know that word, Toru. If you're a European, English man, it's number three. Potato number three. <coughs> Potato number four. Pretty easy to cut up. These are soft potatoes, not as hard. So I've got the right knife for it. When you cut things up like this, be comfortable with your knife and don't danger yourself. Number five. See, look at that, just as big as my hand, potato number five. Okay, so we're having a chicken stew anyway, so I hope you guys can see that, got potatoes there, mmm, yummy, um, mixed veggies, and onions, um, what are these spiral things called again? Pasta. Oh, you pasta, yum, and we've got garlic in it. And yummy chicken. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Our meal. And hope you enjoyed it. Mm. Yum. Chur -chur.